Next 3 is out. Yeah, baby. We have been waiting for a pretty long time, but it's finally here. And next to having like all these major features you've been hearing about, you know, it using Vite, having Vue 3, Composition API and TypeScript, there's actually a bunch of other features that you might not have considered, but are, that are really, really, really cool. And they really help you in your daily life of when you're working with Nuxt all the time. So in this video, I want to give you my top five quality of life features that Nuxt now also brings. So let's dive in. So I am sharing my screen now. And so let's have a look at what's on this screen. Because what you can see, there's a whole bunch of things going on with very little code. And so there's a couple of things that I like about Nux3 that really helps the quality of life of a developer um, in such little code. First of all, we are in app.view, which means you don't have to have a page. You can just be app.view and that's it if you only have one page or one route. And so now router, the view router is actually not in there when you bundle, which is great. Um, of course, if you want pages, you can get those and we'll do that in a sec. But first of all, you can see their script setup, which basically uses your composition API setup function. And it's like a little shortcut. And so every cons that you declare here works directly in your template. And also, as you can see, there's an await here. So it works with async await asynchronously directly, which is super, super handy. And so now the next thing that I really like about how Nux3 works is like we have use fetch here that is just generally available. And I am actually fetching API slash stuff. And so as you can see here, I have server slash API slash stuff. And so in here, I'm exporting just some JSON for now, keeping it simple. And if you're old enough like me, you will understand what you're reading here. Anyways, what this does, it fetches the data from API stuff and puts it in the template, which actually looks like this. Very simple stuff, right? But it actually gets a whole bunch better. I like it so much more because what we can do now, let's say, um, let me just find my browser. I only want Ross and not Rachel's data here. Because if you're doing SSR, for example, um, there will be a script tag with the state of the app that will then hydrate. So if you want that to be as small as possible, you don't want Rachel and Ross if you only want to see Ross, right? So what you then can do is, just go to my code here. You can actually say, I want to add some options here. I want to only pick, oops. I want to only have Ross. And when we now check what that became is only ROS. But that means if you look in the code, the window Nuxt only has ROS here, which is really cool because it now um, became much like super small. And that's what we want, less data over the wire. And so that's really cool. Um, there's actually more. You can also morph whatever you receive. So I just did a quick copy paste there because it's a bit long for typing. So you get the response and I just want to push them in an array rather than having an object. And then it basically just name and message because that's what I did here, right? I want name and message. And so it's a really nice way to actually transform the data that you get right there in your call. And these are just these lovely quality of life things and it works really well. Okay, on to the next. All right, so the next thing I really love is how you can add metadata to your page, like your um, title description, OG text, things like this. And now in Nux3, you can actually start doing this. We can actually have a head component and put a title inside. I think it probably needs a capital T. Let me just check probably correct then end of the head let's see and there it is title that's super cool but because it's in the template we have this data prop here right so what if i actually want rachel stuff in here so i can use get data rachel and there it is. Maybe we should just take a break. And so that is just the quality of life of this is awesome. It's so easy. And we can also use 
Meta, which is yet another really cool composable that you just get. Because I kind of want to add some um, language to my um, body or maybe add a class and then the class should be probably be Ross. And so now when we look at the stuff here, the body has class Ross. And so you can do it on multiple different ways. And that's just one of those things that really help out and it's yet again super great. All right, I'm back with the last thing that I want to talk to you about in this video today. And that is how you can use pages and layouts and how super flexible that became now. Because actually, they started using slots, which is actually what few slots are meant to be, I guess. But that means you can use slots and scoped slots from within your pages and then into your layout, which is really, really strong. And so when we now look at my code, I've changed it a little bit from where it was before. In my app.view, I have now added something called a Nuxt page. And with this component, it now starts looking for a pages directory. And in our case, I have pages index. And of course, I'm also sending like a little paragraph here, pushing stuff from the, the app.view, which if you didn't have any layouts, you could actually use app.view as your base layout. You could add your header and footer in here, for example. But we're taking it a little bit further today. So we're pushing stuff out and we're loading a Nuxt page. So when we now go to index... I have um, added an index page, but I've also now said, okay, I want an extra layout as well. So we have the Nuxt layout component and I'm wanting the custom layout that you can see here in layouts custom. So lots of things going on. And then so in this index page, I actually just have a little image from people from France. Why not? And it's then loaded through the custom layout, which is here. So lots of things going on, but let me just show you that in the HTML. So we have our app.view, we have our custom layout pushing some stuff, and then we have our friends image from the guys in the Lazy Boys. And so basically you can have multi-layered stuff, but when it becomes super, super interesting is when you start to use slots, right? Because you can see in my custom layout here, I have a slot. But nothing prohibits me from doing this. Why not Oops, add a header slot, right? And then in my page, why not go for a template? Yeah, I just copy pasted that because it's so much typing, which goes into the header slot where you add some data that goes then into the into the um, layout again. And so now you have some header template content that I just pushed in from here. And so you can kind of deal with the scope of what data these um, slots are getting. So it's gonna be super simple now. Imagine you have a navigation in the header slot in your component. You go to the blog page and the, you can just push another navigation where blog is set to active. So you don't really need to use um, things with a router anymore with ifs and else and checks and to set stuff active and stuff. Of course, Nuxt used to do that a little for you, but this is so much easier and you can do so many different things with this and layouts just became super strong. So next to the huge things that the Nux team has delivered on, like Vite integration, the Nitro server, the serverless stuff that runs everywhere, and all the amazing things like the, you know, the Nux dev tools and all the things. Actually, I really would like to commend the Nux developer team to also think about the developer experience and give you this like seemingly smaller things that make our lives as developers so much happier. And so I couldn't be more excited to get this thing to a bit more of a stable state so we can start using it. I will probably have to rebuild my website yet again. Anyways, that is life of someone who works with cool technology that constantly changes. Anyways, thank you for watching and more Nuxt content is coming soon. Cheers.